Alright everybody, and welcome back to another New World Between Streams. Today is the 27th. That's right, we are just less than 24 hours away from the launch of New World. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the menu and settings for New World. Let's see what's changed, shall we? As you can see, we're on the starting menu. You can see my FPS up there. There was just a, the FPS skip. I don't know what that was about, but here we are. As you can see, there is no more survey button here, but there is still the seizure warning. Let's hit continue. Ah, and here we are. Right, right here you can see the launch details for all the different areas I am currently in the US East region you can see all the different details for the soundtrack and the streamer skins as well as the twitch integration is now back which is great hopping straight into the settings here we're gonna start from the bottom this time of course you got your credits which I don't believe was there before we got our anti-cheat uh, anti which is great legal privacy and then your code of conduct in terms of use and then accessibility colorblind mode again always awesome you can change the text size in case you have a hard time seeing stuff uh, you have your text to speech some people prefer to use that and rather than sitting there trying to read all of it, which is great. Uh, and then we go into our Twitch integration, which is really cool. This is something I'll be using. I'll be connecting my Twitch right afterwards, but there's a streamer spotlight so you can see, even if you're not a Twitch streamer, you can see other people who might be streaming their, their viewer account and stuff like that and where to find them. Um, you can block other streamers if you're streaming yourself that way you don't have to I, I don't honestly know what that's for I don't see any reason why you would want to not see other streamers I think it's kind of cool to help each other out uh, and then there's a subscriber army I myself won't be taking advantage of this because I'm in a group and not starting a group um, but you can always come and find me and I'll put out another video once the game launches so that way you know where to find me in case that's something that you would like to do now this is another setting that I haven't really had any issue with I don't care about the dual invites and the groups and friends and company invitations I, it, it hasn't been too much of an issue, at least during the last beta, since they added this in. After I join my company and things like that, I might turn this on. But uh, I guess it's more for people who don't like being spammed by those types of notifications. Um, before we continue here, now that we're on the volume page here, you'll notice that as I scroll up and down through these settings, there's no clicks or anything like that you're not actually hearing New World's music either. I am currently playing music that I had commissioned from Hot Tag Media over on YouTube. An amazing individual that really worked hard for me and, and helped me create something that I really love and enjoy. And hopefully you're enjoying this music as well. Um, but yeah, it was commissioned and fully licensed and paid for, so yeah, enjoy. Anyway, you can see my headphones are listed here, uh, which is wrong. There we go. There's my mic. The speakers are going to be this. Here we go. There's your push to talk. Um, your chat and all that fun stuff. Alerts and whatnot. That's all cool. I won't be using the in-game chat, especially since I'm a streamer. Um, 
you have your volume controls, which... Let's actually put that on 70 temporarily. I can always adjust that later. And of course, we want the audio to be right down there. Okay, full screen. Mm, there's no windowed full screen. Borderless. Interesting. Uh, the display's right. All the video stuff seems to be set to high, which is fine. I have never had any... Uh, FPS issues unless there's like a million players this is the one that you might want to adjust um, I keep mine capped at 60 it doesn't it looks like it there was a 144 here before weird that they changed it back to 60 I'm fine with it I, I don't see any reason why it needs to be higher than that it's an MMO after all Ah, here we go. Then we got the invert camera, your camera sensitivities, all these different things. You can hide your HUD, uh, your targeting for healing, which I'll mess with as necessary. It's really cool that they have so many settings that you can adjust. Uh, and here is all the possible languages, which is really cool. Looks like English, Dutch, Spanish, French, Italian, Polish. Well, There's a lot of stuff in there. And a little, it doesn't seem like they've added, like, I don't see any Chinese or Japanese or anything like that in there. It's weird. I guess they're just not available in that region. Uh, I'm sure it will be eventually, though. There's probably going to be a delay before they ship it across the seas. Uh, language filters and stuff. I, I keep that stuff on. Uh, bandwidth. I leave that normal because I do do the streaming thing. Automatic reporting. Huh. I, I don't see that as an issue anyway we're back into the key bindings and I'm wondering if they changed anything we got our ping system you won't probably won't need to do anything with this only because you can uh, you hold the button down and it brings up a scroll wheel in which you're able to ping any of these that you want uh, dialogue options if you since it's you're not using a controller most people won't be because the controller support is going through steam rather than actually being an integrated controller support uh, you'll most likely just be clicking with a mouse um, social stuff that's never had any issues with that there's your push to talk button under social Make sure that you adjust this if that's not something that you use. I typically use caps lock only because it doesn't inter usually interfere with anything in the game except for cutscenes. In this game, the push to talk button will skip cutscenes, so keep that in mind. Not the push to talk button, caps lock. I think I said that wrong. Anyway, we still only have two weapons it looks like and here is our consumables looks like we have four of those and then here's your weapon abilities all of these I've had a, I'm pretty used to by now navigation WASD auto run that's all nice you can toggle the walk run but I want it. You don't want to slow yourself down, do you? I mean, I guess some people in the RP community might use this a little bit, but it's not for me. Uh, user interface. There's a lot to keep an eye on. And there's your housing, your fishing. Life staff still has its own because of targeting players and whatnot. There's your regular combat. Hopefully they fix the dodge. 
There was an issue during the open beta, but I'm sure they fixed it. I'm, I'm hopeful anyway. Uh, your ranged combat. Again, the ranged combat in this game is a little bit different. You're going to have to... You have to aim down your sights and pull the trigger. Headshots do count for more damage in this game. And there's no tab targeting, so getting those, getting some practice in on headshots is going to mean a lot. Now, continuing on here, we still come into the same video here for our character screen. It looks a little bit cleaner. I don't know if they changed something here. Still got your pots full of hemp and whatnot here. Everything looks really nice. And then you can hit your character select. As you can see, there's no servers available just yet. Only because the game is still a little less than 24 hours until the launch. But this is pretty much where we're going to be ending today. Uh, going to tack on here at the end that my stream will be starting up on Tuesday as early as possible and I have I skipped Monday streaming only because I have my child and myself who are in, up uh, downloading the game as we speak so that way we can go and play together and hopefully be able to to have a great time. I'm going to be trying to push for at the very minimum level 25 on the first day so that way I can hit dungeons and start grinding and helping other people in my group who need to get pushed through our mine as well. Hopefully you'll come along for the ride because it's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of Twitch drops and you can find all the links to my social stuff down there in the description as well as a bunch of giveaways that are going on right now. So hop down there, check them all out. Hopefully you find something you like and you win yourself some cool games. If you don't have this game yet, hopefully this will tide you over. At any rate, thank you everybody for stopping out. I really do appreciate it if you manage to stick around this long. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Stay healthy out there, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.